I wanted to do a video, and we, you see where we at, me and the mansion. Why you should and shouldn't live the van life. I came up with a pros and cons list because people ask me, Asia, do you miss living in a house or apartment? And I'm always like, hell no. No, of course not. I love the van life. And so I went ahead and made a list of pros and cons of the van life, pros of the living the van life versus cons of living the van life. And when I look at this list, I'm like, damn, do we? <laughs> do we? really like living the van life because <laughs> according to this list so i'm gonna give you five reasons why i love living the van life and i feel like reason number one is easy and simple and at the top of the list i ain't gotta pay no rent rent money rent. i ain't gotta pay no rent i don't have to pay a mortgage you know what I'm saying? The first of the month don't mean nothing, nothing, nothing to me. You know, some apartments give you to the six to pay your rent without a late fee. I don't got to worry about that. Mortgages, you got 15 days before you get a late charge. I ain't got to worry about that. So that is the top of the list. Reason number two, reason number two is kind of piggybacks off of the rent and the mortgage. I don't have a commitment to anything like I don't have to sign a lease I don't have to sign a mortgage note I'm not committed to anything so if I want to move I can move which speaking of that that's our third reason I can move anywhere I want to I can be anywhere anywhere in the world right now I'm in Los Angeles but I could be in Beverly Hills Calabasas I could be next to you i could be your neighbor i could be in your neighborhood so i feel like that so let me just run it back rent i can move anywhere anywhere i want and there's no commitment i don't have to 12 months 12 months 13 month lease 30 year mortgage which i ain't gonna lie eventually i do want to own a home so i'm not even gonna shade you know but that's a long time <laughs> that's a long time another one this is my fourth one I said fourth one ownership like I own big baby this is my house this is my house mine can't, no, they, can't nobody be like uh, we gonna evict you uh, we're gonna foreclose on you nope 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 this is mine now, somebody can tow this thing <laughs> somebody can tow my house uh, <laughs> other than that, this is mine. All mine. I got the title to this thing. I own this. That feels good. So that that is number four for me, ownership. Another one is adventure. Like, kind of go hand in hand with moving anywhere, but I can be anywhere. Like, I could wake up at the beach. I can wake up near the mountains. I wouldn't wake up in the desert because... <laughs> Hey, LA heat get me, but like I, I have the adventure, like I could I have the ability to travel. So travel and adventure. And I said, okay, rent, move wherever, which move wherever and travel is kinda hand in hand. Adventurous is kinda is this five? <laughs> I hope it's five. Five-ish. Cause move wherever, travel wherever, travel and adventure kinda they cousins they they cousins but you get what i'm saying so dang should i change this video to three reasons <laughs> ownership you get what i'm saying those are my those are my top of the list reasons why i do the van life and i ain't gonna lie the no rent that's top 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 of the list that's that's low-key like five reasons for me because if you know me you know i'm cheap like Like, people be like, oh, you know, you're frugal. You ain't got a sugar coated with me. I am cheap. Cheap. And I'm okay with that. So, like, not having to pay rent, like rent, rent, traditional rent, something, so many hundred dollars a month feels good to me. Yeah. Especially for a lease. 
Like, I've had an apartment, and it's always made me sad that I have to pay this month monthly rent, and then at the end of this 12 months, you get to keep it and give it to somebody else and charge them rent. Like, I never get to own that. I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that at all. So, that's the top of my list of reasons why I love the van life. Should I go ahead and just make this one video on my cons or should I split it up? Content purposes. E Check in for part two of why I probably wouldn't do the van life. <laughs> Would keep like, uh, if you're thinking about doing the van life, Mm, these might be reasons why you might not want to do the van life or might want to reconsider or have these included in your build. Follow for part two. And if you made it this long, thank you so much for watching this. I am still trying to be consistent. I'm trying now. I've been posting consistently, y'all. If y'all been watching, I've been posting consistently. The days might be a little off, but we get in, y'all getting a few every one won't. So if you want to continue to get this content and if you want to see part two, please like, comment, subscribe. In my head, I don't know how that's going to sound on the video, but how that sounded up in here, that sounded good. <laughs> okay. Okay, Asia.